welcome to my channel it's Donnell it is that time of the month again it is Manny Allergies Manny by me June subscription box so I haven't even opened it yet I've only broken the seal so there's our little cards and our paper just the inside of the box what will you create hashtag Manny by me box so let's see what we have here. So this month's theme is Wizard of Oz. You always get like an inspiration card that shows you an example off to see the wizard. And it shows you this and then it kind of goes through the steps on how to achieve it. First things first, I'm gonna see what sticker we have. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a moth, very nice. I, I always say it every month, but I love their stickers. I'll add that to the bin. And the free gift this month is cuticle scissors. I don't. I don't use these for my cuticles, but I do know what they will be great for, and that will be trimming and fine-tuning water slide decals or stickers, things like that. These fine tip sharp scissors are always good for that. And then let's see what we have in the for the polishes. I didn't really look into this box. Um, I didn't get the tape, but I didn't look into the theme too much when they announced it. I considered skipping it, but you know, I always have the fear of missing out, so I didn't skip it. So let's see what polishes we have. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice dark green. It's called Emerald City B514. It is described as a elegant emerald green stamping polish with a cream finish. And this one is Yellow Brick Road P164. It's a glittery, glittery yellow nail polish. So this isn't necessarily stamping polish. It's just some glittery. Ooh. That's nice. Just some regular polish with some gold flakes in it. It's more opaque than I thought it was gonna be. And then, here's that green. Wow, that green is gorgeous. I don't have anything like that in my collection. I have, a, I have several greens, but nothing like this. All right, and the best part are the plates. <clears throat> okay, oh, this one's stuck. are always hard to get off. Whoa. Okay. There go. So we have plate MXM one two nine. Ooh, I like those. And MXM130. A lot of scenes. Run, Toto, run. What is that? Hmm. I have no clue what that is. 
Is it some kind of hat? It looks like almost like a ear flap hat, but I'm not sure. Ooh, I like the little legs and the little flying monkey things. Oh, I like that one. And then let's take a closer look at some of these. Oh, there's the Wicked Witch. Yay! We have the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, the Lion. Very cute. So, let's do it. Let's see what we got. So the example is for the lion. So it says two coats of yellow brick, brick road. So yeah, I know I did that, but it's okay. Trying to make sure the some of those flakes are dispersed nicely. And I'm gonna get some straight up black. And let's see, how many brown polishes do they use for the lion? Maybe two? A lighter one for the face and a darker one is main. I don't have a whole lot of browns. Really, I only have two. Catnap and caramel. Let's go ahead and do a second coat of. This is really nice. surprised how opaque that is. I thought it was going to be more um, more what's the word I'm looking for? Translucent. So I don't know if this will work but I have Queen of Hearts P146 which is just a red flaky polish. So I thought maybe that would work for the um, the example with Dorothy, but it's not very, it's almost more pink. Maybe a second coat will help. So I have two coats on that. I'm just letting this one dry. I don't have anything like the blue or green. Maybe I'll just do these two examples first. So let's go ahead and get this. Where's our cowardly lion? There he is, right there. Dorothy and I may not have good colors for her but we'll see 
It's like every time I think I have this ginormous stamping collection, I'm like, I gotta have everything that I would ever need. And I'm always find out that that's not true. I always need more. So I definitely want to use, uh, should I use Alice or actually I think I'm going to use blue ribbon, some Bam White, and I think I'm just going to have to do her in this color because I don't have any other skin tone colors either, but there they are. Some brushes, get my palette. Mm -mm. I did a lot of stamping yesterday. And as you can see on my palette, I'm going to go ahead and get another coat of this on so that it has time to dry. Nope, I messed it up. And this is why I don't use regular polish, because I can never let it dry without smudging. Alright, not bad. Let's paint our lion. I'm going to use Caramel B353 for his face. Well, I'm going to do a tiny, tiny dab of white for his tiny little eyes. Modern Crim. And since I have the white on the palette, I'm going to go ahead and get Dorothy's dress. I want to have this reference card because I don't think I would know what to do otherwise. Okay. All right, moving on to the lion with the lighter shade of brown first for his face. I hope it's light enough. Like I was saying, I almost skipped this one because I wasn't sure how much I would like the plate, but now that I have it in my hands and I'm working with it, which is usually the case, I am <laughs> I'm actually really liking it. That might be a little dark. But I don't really have anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as well for her hair. And their picture, her hair is a lot darker. But. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And then I'm going to go in with kind of this more orangey brown catnap B503. Hopefully there's enough of a difference in the shades. Yeah. It's very similar. Just rinse it in my brush and just a little bit of acetone. All right, now I'm gonna do her bow and her, the bib of her dress with blue ribbon B455. I messed up that nail again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Man, um, regular polish, which is why I rarely painted my nails, was because I could not do my nails without smudging them. And me crazy. It's like the lines of that part of her dress supposed to be white. Yes, I know I'm using the blue, but the white will just cover it. There we go. I don't know what to use for her skin tone, guys. I don't even know what colors to mix for skin tone. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, this will make her very... Let me see. I'm wondering if this kind of like peachy, peachy color would work. Oh, there you go. These are actually brand new. I've never even used them. They're a, um, just a polish set from Model Ones and these adorable little bottles. I think it was um, six of them. But I don't think they're stamping polish. That's actually perfect. It's a really nice color for this. They're not stamping polishes, so they're not, I can tell just even laying it down, they're not as thick. They have more of a watery, feel to them as opposed to the stamping polishes which isn't a bad thing just different so I'm gonna do my little trick I went over her ear and I'm not gonna wipe it away I'm just gonna gently push the color back onto itself and now I'm not over her ear Except a tad bit, but that's okay. I just wanted to get a little bit of it pushed back. 
So, and that's it. Give my breasts a swish, swish, swish. So yeah, this is Model 1's 45, and it's just a regular, regular nail polish. There's our Cowardly Lion. <laughs> I smudged it again. I can't. Uh, I can do hard things, but I can't paint my nails without smudging them. All right, I'm not going to move. Sorry, I wasn't even in frame. Whoa. Look how cute. And, yep, that smudge too. This is comical, people. Look at that. And what is that? All right. I'm going to sit here and I'm not going to move it because this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So let's see. Let's see what the what it says. Is that it? All right. Okay. I was just checking. So. No, I touched up, so I want to wait before I go on my smudge free top coat. Yeah, so yeah, the sticky base does leave like the residue, it does kind of take off some of the color, and that could have been because this is regular polish. But as long I think I might have stamped a little too hard, but as long as you stamp lightly, it's okay, I think. God, I wish I really had some of that blue and green. I would really um, like to have this on my nails. So my, my lion is pretty similar in color, right? I mean, I think that's pretty close. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but can you hear my roosters outside? They've learned that they can hear me when they're at the front door. And sometimes they will come all the way to the front door to scream at me because they want a snack or something. Okay, let's see. Is that dry? I think it's dry enough. A bad red. It's still a little more pink. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the colors of the shimmer. But we'll let that dry and I'm gonna go ahead and do a smudge free top coat. It's my cowardly lion. He's so cute. So I was thinking about doing another yellow one. And then doing Dorothy's cute little shoes.
and then I can stamp them on top of yellow and then paint them red. I think I might give that a go. I never really have a plan when I sit down to stamp. Most of the time, every now and then I have an idea and I sit down and try to follow through on it. Not always though. Usually I'm just sitting here waiting for something to dry and that's when inspiration hits me. I think I'm gonna use a shimmery red, it's Winterberry B493. Cause I don't know if I can, I, I thought that would be cute cause then it would match, but I don't know, can you, reverse stamp with this and what color would the inside of this shoe be shoot i don't know i'm thinking white it's mm -hmm. my favorite one Her shoes are red, but what color are the bows? How do I not know this? This was my favorite movie as a child. So I stopped the video to look. <laughs> yes, I did. This will be a much better color. I'm getting so much better at reverse stamping. Right? Right. That's so cute. I remember watching people and it looked like they were just with these brushes and they were just getting into those tiny fine lines and I just, it, it looks hard but it also looks easy and I would try it and I would go in the groups and ask for help. Like, how do you do it? And there were so many suggestions. Oh, use a dotting tool, the smallest dotting tool you can find. Use a toothpick. None of that worked, none of it. Toothpick is the worst thing I ever heard of. I don't know, I guess it does work for some people, but I thought it was terrible. Um, anyway. Going back to this. All right. So I need to get another coat of Yellow Brick Road here. I used to hate yellow. And now I really like it. All right. So Yellow Brick Road has to dry. So I'm going to do my sticky stamper thing. Just so. A little bit on there and then I don't think it works as well for this regular polish but it seemed to work perfectly on my other stuff before all right we're gonna put Dorothy away at the tip because I don't want a floating body
I should have, I was kind of focused on centering that and I should have did her head maybe a little better. But I'm not mad at it. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to go in with the smudge free top coat. How many more problems can I have? I kind of wish I just painted the red with this one because I think it's a much better red than that. I don't know, like on the camera, it does look kind of red, but in person it looks a little bit more pink. My lion is cute though. That polish is a little sticky, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to put my shoes on... Yeah, that worked. The polish was still just sticky enough to not have to even do the sticky base coat. I mean, when I sat down to do this, the plan was to um, just do the inspiration now, but I'm, I'm enjoying this. Do I do another red one or do I just go with the yellow all the way and just have the, the one rim? So I was thinking of just doing a part of the yellow brick road on that nail but it's so small that sometimes stuff just doesn't look very nice those look good get a second coat yeah this has turned into a full-blown manny so what was i gonna do I think I was going to try to get some of that on. Let's see if we can have any result when our shrinking stamper. I don't, I don't really know what good that's going to do me. Ooh. But I can try. Oh, I forgot to put on sticky base, but I guess it was still sticky enough. These things feel oily. Alright, so shrinking it down just a little bit did help. I think it looks good. What am I going to do on this one? What to do, what to do. So maybe I'll just do the the wand. This one, I don't know, it's just the. It's so dark. It kind of takes away from 
the rest of it. Super simple. I do have to let it dry, but I really wanted to do the witch's feet. That would be so cute coming off like the side of your nail. But I don't remember which color the stockings are. I guess I could do it any color, but. Oh, I didn't even notice this, but they have the solid, like the silhouette of the four of them. That's cute too. So I'll be doing a whole another Manny with these because I'm having so many ideas. I love this, but that's never going to go on a nail. And the shrinker, the shrinkers are great, but some, some things like this, even with the yellow brick road, I think because I shrunk it, it kind of squeezes those lines together and makes it um, look darker than it is, you know, so... witches wand. I'm so glad I didn't skip this box. Sometimes you just gotta see something to appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing and drop me a comment below. Any feedback is appreciated. Oh, there's the witch's legs right there. I don't think they were just black and white though. Anyway, until next time. Bye. I'm off to see the wizard.